All right, so here we are. In this video, we are going to build our, make our pages, our base pages, and we are going to do page one, possibly page two. So we may have two in this video. Um, so to build our pages, what I did, and as I mentioned in the previous video, this part is uh, borrowed, influenced, whatever you wanna call it. Um, by another crafter. So our base page is simply one page and all it is is eight and a half by 10 and I scored it at a half an inch on the left hand side and that is going to be it. I know you're thinking it's never going to work but it has. It's worked for me three or four times and I have not had a single problem since then. So we're going to trust we're going to trust that this is going to work. We're going to build so much onto this page that you will be amazed and you'll see it, it will become sturdier the more we use it. So I did four of these at eight and a half by 10 and I scored it at half an inch on the left hand side. All right. And our first page is going to be a moving waterfall. I know I didn't use my cute form. I threw this together while I was at work. That's why we have all of the mistakes in here. Um, so this is going to be a, a waterfall that comes to the side. Um, and it's going to hold five by seven photos. <clears throat> so what we needed for this is we need four, yeah, four at uh, five and a half by seven and a quarter. Uh, no, seven and a half. These do not need to be scored. All right, so that is A. B is 10 by seven and a half. All right, and this one is what we're gonna score because this is what our waterfall is gonna, this is our waterfall base. So we're gonna put this in here. Remember, I do mine to the side. I blame my mother. And we are going to score at half an inch. One, one and a half, and two. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and fold those over on our score lines. Remember, try to keep this as straight and as even on the sides as possible. Um, that just helps it to flip and stay, I don't know, not wonky. All right, so there's one. But it will try to go sideways on me. one. There's our third fold score. And our fourth. Now once we do this, if we realize that we can put another one on there, we're going to do that. If we can fit five, we're going to fit five. <clears throat> So we will be putting these on here. Let's see how wide this is. Now that is right at eight. Um, so we cannot fit five. And actually when we put this on, we're gonna trim a little bit off here. So won't fit five, poo poo. I did not refill my glue. All right, so now we're just going to put our glue on here. There it goes. And remember, bottom left point to bottom left point. We do not want this on the score line. So if you don't know what I'm saying, just wait a minute and I will show you. 
but it needs to be just to the right of that score line. Okay, so here is our score line. This is our score hump. Okay, and we are hugging it on the right side. If it gets on that score line, it will, uh, it won't flip up right. We won't do that. Now on all of these pieces, I did put the measurement on here and I'm gonna leave it because I did that for my friend um, so that she wouldn't have to go through and measure everything since I already did. And I wrote it on there. So now I know how big this is. I know that I just need to take a quarter inch off of each of those and that's the size paper I'll put on there. So yeah, it was extra writing, but In my brain, it's going to save us so much, so much time. Hang on. There it goes. It was getting goopy. <clears throat> All right, so here is the score line where I just put the first flap. So now we're just going to do this second. Bottom left point, right next to that score line, but not on it and definitely not over it. Ay, 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 you'll have a hot mess. Nobody will know it but you, but there will be a hot mess. Okay. It's the next one. Just to the right of that score line. It is finally spring here in Oklahoma. We still have some chilly nights, and by chilly I mean 39 degrees. But the days are gorgeous. Had my windows open yesterday. We've already had tornadoes. But then we had tornadoes in February, so. <clears throat> so that doesn't really signify spring. But my grass is green. The daffodils are out. I am a happy, happy lady. All right, we're going to smush. And there is our waterfall. We're going to take a half an inch of this off. So if you are using this cutter, I'm going to use my half an inch there because I don't want to unfold it. So that first line is half an inch. So we really just need to get close. It doesn't need to be exact. So here is our page one. I forgot part C. So part C is the little flap that holds everything down. And part C, I didn't put the measurement on it because we don't decorate this one, is two inches by nine and a half. And we're gonna score it a half an inch on each end. So half an inch on the top and the bottom. Why is that so big? Oh, I'm telling you, I'm a hot mess. Go ahead and score it again at one. <sighs> yeah, so this is seven and a half. So this should actually be 
eight and a half and then score it at half an inch. So I did cut it at nine and a half, but I'm gonna go ahead and score it at one inch on each side and that'll be fine. And I could have cut a new one. Now we just have an inch of a fold instead of half an inch. So same difference, it'll work. Now we just have more to hold it down. <clears throat> All right, so now we have all of our stuff. We need to decorate our base page. So we need to pick out something. And I am going to do um, I'm going to do this one. It's just tiny flowers. <clears throat> but I don't want something big and bold because this is going to go right on top and I want this part to shine. So we know that our page is eight by 10. I do a small border, so I will cut mine at seven and seven eighths. But most people, the standard rule would be to cut it at seven and three fourths by nine and three fourths. See, I do a very, very thin border. Um, I just like it that way. You don't have to. You can do it however you want. So we're gonna slather the back of this in glue. Tape, if that's what you prefer. If you've been here any amount of time, you know I don't trust tape. At least not the thin ones. Thin meaning the quarter inch. And since it is warming up, a lot of your little boutique uh, scrapbook stores are going to have the art glitter glue in because they can't ship it when it's cold. So depending on where you are, they are able to ship to Oklahoma now. I usually stock up in the winter or in the fall, I should say. All right, so there's our page decorated. Here's our little cuff. We're gonna open up our page and we are going to attach. All right, so here's our waterfall. This is the bottom of our base. This is where our pictures go. On the very back of this last one, that's where we are going to attach this. And it will just go, I'm gonna flip it all over. We're just gonna line it right up there on the bottom till you don't even see it, okay? So, I have two inch tape. I am gonna use it on that. Okay. I just, I've had better luck the thicker the tape the better it, it seems to hold. Smush, smush, smush. All 
All right, so here's our page, our, our waterfall. I'm going to open it. So now this is the inside. And I'm going to attach it right here on the back of this one. This is our flat part. This is the side with all of the... I don't know what else to call them. I just call them flips. All right, so I am going to center this on here. And you want this to be as centered and even as possible so your waterfall doesn't have trouble opening. All right. These are going to wrap underneath. And that is how our waterfall is going to slide out. I do need to get... No, I can do that later. <clears throat> so the only thing that is attaching our waterfall to this base page is these flaps. Okay, so I'm going to glue... Blue. All right, and I'm going to center this top to bottom best I can. Oh my goodness, that got dirty. Go down. There we go. And just smush those down. got my paper dirty and a lot of times your eraser can get that right off. I thought I'd cleaned my thing but apparently not enough. All right so I will put a ribbon here whenever I go to decorate. There it is. It'll work better once we have uh, paper on here. It needs to be heavy for it to go well. To flip individually, I should say. So we're just going to go through it. Reinforce those score lines. Whenever I decorate it, I will put, I have some off pink very light pink, and that's what I will put on the inside. Um, and that will help give it weight so that until there's pictures in it, it will flip better. Now, now is the time if you want to corner punch. You can corner, corner punch these. I've seen some people do a decorative border punch. Um, if we had done it this way, then I would do that because I could have made these bigger. Uh, but to be five by seven, to hold a five by seven paper, it was just better to do it this way um, and not do the, the border punch. I am going to, I'll put decorative paper on this one and then the rest of them will have that off-white pink on the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and flip her over to page two. And page two has got all kinds of flips and flaps. And again, they're going to hold five by seven pictures. Um, so page two. And see, I wrote all my instructions on here. So page two A is eight and a half by ten and a quarter. And we are going to score at a half an inch and five eighths because we do need a small gusset on this one. Oh, so there's, oh, stop moving on me. There's half and there is five eighths. Okay. And then we have part B is... The same, it is eight and a half 
Am I correct? Yes. It is eight and a half by ten and a quarter. Ten and a quarter? No, no, no. These need to be by ten. <sighs> So you will have cut these right because I have it have it right on your paper. Just give me a second. Oh yeah, yeah. Where's the pen? By 10, by 10, holy smokes. I'll erase it on here. This is what happens when you try to be prepared, but you're not, you're just really not. Okay, so part A was eight and a half by 10, score at a half an inch and five eighths. And B, I'm sorry, that was on the left. B is eight and a half by 10, scored a half an inch and five eighths on the right hand side. So there's our half, there's our five eighths. And on the inside of this one, we are going to have, um, I have the words, I really do. Poop. Oh, we're doing the gusset because we have two more swing outs and we have a pocket. And I just don't like it whenever they bow over our page. So that's why we've done this. All right. Part C is seven and three fourths by five and one fourth. And we're gonna score at a half an inch on the left-hand side. So this is one of our five by seven swing outs flip outs, whatever you want to call it. It's one of those things. And then D is five and three fourths by seven and a quarter. And we're going to score it half an inch on the right hand side. So I made one landscape and one portrait. So you can have either one. And E is seven and a half by seven and a half. And this is going to be our pocket and we are gonna score it at a half an inch on the bottom and on the right-hand side. And I am going to, ow, oh, poo, show you how to make a, a template for your paper or, because I did a template for her so that she wouldn't have to try to figure out the angles. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and cut our decorative paper for this so that you don't have to come back and try to try to remember how we did that. That's it. So let's go ahead and start by knocking off our corners because this is gonna be a pocket. So we're gonna take off just this one corner. I know it's hard to see. Let's turn it over. Oh, look at those score lines. Focus, there it goes. We're just gonna cut right through those. Okay. See, I left my little corner right where they meet. And that's just gonna help us keep away from having a bulge there. Okay. And now the pocket was angled. And the way I angled it is I am going to Let's use this line. Let's use this line. I'm gonna line this up here. This is two inches. So I am going to mark two inches at the top. All right, so I went two inches from the right-hand side. And then I am going to go, oh, you can't see that, two inches from the bottom, the bottom left side. And I'm gonna mark that. All right, so here, I went in two inches, and here I went up two inches. And those points 
is where we're going to cut. So, got out the big daddy. I'm going to line up those points right on my cut line. If you've been here before, just like how we do our braided pockets. Line up those points. And there. There it is. Now, we are going to go ahead and get our paper. Our decorative paper. And I am going to use this paper for this one. And I love... I just love plaid. It's got plaid on it. I'm probably going to buy it and use it. Alright, I'm going to take off this bottom. Oh, almost. There it goes. So what I'm going to do, now I have my square page. And I am going to mark where this meets up. Okay, so here. And right here. And then I am going to take that in by a quarter of an inch. And by that, what I mean is so here's my line that I just marked. And if I look over here, that puts me right at the five, the five inch mark. I'm going to move this up a quarter of an inch. So I'm actually going to cut at five and one fourth. And it's going to be the same thing here. I'm going to cut at five and one fourth. So when I bring in my pocket, I'm all good to go on the side here and here. And now, since I went up two inches, we're going to go up one and a quarter inch. Nope, one and three quarters. So there is a quarter, one and three quarters. And there is one and three quarters. So now I have my points to cut. Where did it go? Yep, for my pocket. So I'm going cutting from this point to this point. it's going to sit perfectly. So I'm going to erase these. Slap some glue down. Now the reason why I am using the less busy side, busy side of this paper is because I will end up putting a chipboard piece, a frame, a tuck spot, something on here. And I don't want it to get lost in all of those flowers. All 
All right, so there is that. Let's go ahead and bring out all of our stuff for page two. And let's start assembling our, we're gonna start with our big flaps. So this is where we did the half an inch and a five eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and fold and press on those score lines. is not as forgiving as the regular card stock. It's a little bit harder to fold the, that tiny score line. <clears throat> and then on B, which is the score lines on the right, we're going to do the exact same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the one that goes on the right hand side. So I'm going to take my bottom right point and I'm going to put it right next to the score line for page two. Not on it, but right next to it. I'm going to line it up along the bottom and then follow it up the side. Stay off of that score line. I'm talking mostly to myself there. Okay, push, push, push. Okay, we'll do the exact same thing with the one that's got score lines on the left. Remember, we're only gluing to that half inch. We are not gluing the little place between the half inch and the five eighths. Bottom left point. Line it up along the bottom. Follow it up the side. And then smush. Now, if you are doing this and you only have, uh, say, two kits, I don't know that you could do it with one kit, but you may be craftier than I am. Um, the insides of these, just use a, use a complementary color. You can barely see it. This is baby pink, but it would be perfect in here. See, they're going to go right together. And since it's hopefully going to get covered up with pictures. So if you're needing to stretch your paper, this is a perfect way to do it. All right, so now we have part C, which was the seven and three fourths by five and a half. We scored at a half an inch on the left. We're gonna go ahead and make that fold. And this is going to go over here to the left. Now, I think you can see it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> this was our, this is our half inch score line. And this is our five eighths. We are going to line this up next to the half inch score line, but not on it. You want to leave a good sixteenth of an inch between so that this will fold. If you get it right on that score line, it's not going to fold as well, okay? And you can put this at the top. You can put this at the bottom. I'm going to stick it right in the middle-ish. It's 
So kind of the middle, not quite the middle. And I am next to that line, but not on it. So I will be able to close easy peasy. All right, and then we have part D, which is five and three fourths by seven and a quarter. We scored at a half an inch on the right hand side. And I am going to put it upper ish. Yeah, I'm going to put it right around there. Same deal. This is our half inch. This is our five eighths. Half inch, five eighths. I'm going to put it about a sixteenth of an inch away from that half inch score. So right up there. Okay, I've got all those open. Now I've got my pocket and the way this works, you can put it to the left, you can put it to the right, you can put it however you want. I'm gonna put it to the right. So we went ahead and we already folded in our lines Okay, that's why we cut off that corner. See how perfectly this fit? And here's our score line on the uh, part D that we just attached. Again, we don't want this to go on that score line. We want to be on this one, probably two sixteenths of an inch away. Because we don't have a gusset there. So, then I'm going to smush down that part we just glued. And so this, and here, and here, and here, and this is our spine. So I am going to put, yeah, I'll put two. I'm going to put two magnets in here. What did I do with my magnets? <laughs> they were hiding. All right, so these are 10 by one millimeter magnets. I just get them on Amazon. We're gonna stick it right around there. And then I just use regular scotch tape to hold it down. Now to pair those up, I'm going to take my tape, this is not the sticky side, and I'm going to put the sticky side up and just drop my magnet on there and it will pair itself. So again, sticky side up, drop my magnet. There it goes. Let me go. And then I'm going to lay my book over, match my page up with it, so I can feel where those magnets are. And then they're in the perfect spot. And then just press that tape down and voila. So there's our page one with our side moving waterfall. And page two, which has got 
tons of room. This right here, you may have to trim down your picture just a skirmishing, but you could put an eight by 10 picture right here. So we would have room for four eight by 10s if you were so inclined, five by sevens, um, you know, landscape, four by six, four by six, and then landscape. So you've got tons of room for pictures in here. These will hold five by sevens and then put whatever your little heart desires in that pocket. All right, so there it is. I will see you for page three.